<sighs> I must say, last week was very disappointing, and um, I had to do some reflection um, after agree because I went through the um, final exam while I was doing that. <gasps> I had checked on my Twitter and everything in my Twitter feed. Vengeance was sending me shit. It was... This was awfully disappointing. Because, first of all, I want to say... I was right. Two of my predictions were absolutely correct. In case you guys don't know which predictions were they... Here they are now. When Drake loses... They're going to bail on him. And literally side with K Dot. They're gonna try their best to cop themselves out of this by trying to defend Drake more. And that's gonna be my third one. And I find it interesting how some of y'all are just making it very easy to just make some people be right and some people be wrong. Cause it's like two of those predictions should not have happened, but yet you motherfuckers still let that go. I'm just, I'm just, like, speechless, because, like, first of all, I'm disappointed in the J. Cole fans, to a certain degree, because it's like, it's, and, and I'm not talking about all of them, I'm talking about some of them that literally decided to take Drake's side, and still proceeded to not only be fake and in turn back on Drake, but then there were some that were still defending him, like, this is absolutely egregious behavior that I should not have seen at all. But yet you motherfuckers still did it. This is what I mean when I say certain fans just need to take the L. This community sometimes needs to take the L. But the fact that this is the case where you motherfuckers are doing egregious shit like this is sad. Because it's like how in the fuck are you going to sit there, make a logical fucking reason, reason, and just being honest, a logical and reasonable decision to go ahead, turn on your own artist because he left, and then literally go on ahead and side with Drake, knowing for a fact that he was going to lose. And also, by the way, my third prediction, and it wasn't even on video, I literally told my own friends, hey, there's a slight chance that either we're going to have a good battle between J. Cole and Kendrick. And Drake was more than likely going to fucking lose. I've said this before this entire thing started. And I find it odd that I am literally sitting here having to deal with people. And you guys even heard this all the video. I was like, it's strange to me how many people literally turned against me. Only for them to do the exact same thing when Kendrick releases this track. I'm at a fucking loss. I'm at a loss for words. Like, oh my god. This is why I lost faith in certain parts of the hip-hop community. And I'm talking about specifically the rap community. Because you motherfuckers failed to understand anything in this situation. How is it possible that you're going to sit here and literally try inside with a man that literally lost to Pusha T before, and yet somehow you thought he had a chance against Kendrick? Oh, God. This is also what I was talking about as far as above average rappers versus just average rappers. Now, granted, I'm going to say this, and I don't give a fuck if I get flack. Drake is a average two well yeah well hmm. he is an average rapper at best reason i say that is because again the this is the one album where he basically tried like do i have to say it like, it's been very obvious that this man has not been doing that much since then. I find it hard to believe that we have this many people in our community that literally tries to side with Drake under the actual crazy circumstances. 
And I find it interesting how I have to literally be the devil's advocate in this because, again, I never play DA. But ever since I stopped defending Drake to a certain degree, it's bothering me how many times this motherfucker literally just decided, like, hey, I'm just going to literally do some of the most egregious shit because I'm going to agree with everything the fans say. Like, at a certain point, man, you have to have your own decisions and realize what level you are at. Because at certain points, I'm going to be 100% honest, and people need to understand this, production and everything else is overrated when you literally, 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 and I'm being honest, when you literally ride the beat. This is why I say you have to make sure that you can over, make sure you literally, literally improve your craft so you can literally fit the beat not fucking write it be on side with it like side to side like how are you literally having like these type of conversations and not only that bro how am i literally having to tell people like hey you can't sit here and do everything on your own because at certain points like you could be independent and that's fine but what i find interesting is that when you do certain things you go on the labels you do everything else like that you have to realize that putting production value over fucking craft is insane and it won't let you, like, at least have a legacy. Now, if you want to just have a decent career, you want to literally leave music for everybody, okay, cool, I'm not mad at that. But this is my problem when I say, if you're going to contradict what you want in this fucking space... That is what is going to literally drag you down. I have said that time and time again. And yet, I have to sit there and literally tell people the same thing I have said for years. Like, what the fuck? Come on, bro. Like, this shit is just disappointing, man. It's just disappointing. So, needless to say, um, this was just... A shit show from start to finish. And I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed in these fans, man. And I'm not talking about all of them in general. I'm talking about specifically the J. Cole fans. Because specifically some of you literally let this shit happen. And then yet you guys sit there and try to literally backpedal on certain things. And it's like, oh, if this is the egregious things I have to witness. Then yeah, this is going to be a downhill situation from here. It's it in it, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Later.